Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Literature with Purva. In today's video, we are going to look at American literature. So we are going to look at all the literary periods of American literature, the literary movements, and we will see the history of American literature, how American literature evolved over the years. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. So in American literature, first we have the colonial period, 1607 to 1776. So the 13 colonies which later formed the United States of America were colonized by the British. The first permanent British colony was established in Jamestown, Virginia in 1607. Now, there were two important people who were pioneers of the American Revolution, Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Pine. Notable works of this period are The Autobiography of Benjamin Franklin and Cotton Mather's The Christian Philosopher. Next, we have the early national period, 1776 to 1830. On July 4th, 1776, America got independence from Britain. The nation's name was changed from the United Colonies of America to the United States of America. A notable writer of this period is Thomas Jefferson, who wrote the Declaration of Independence and Notes on the State of Virginia. Other notable writers of this period are Washington Irving, known for his work Rip Van Winkle, and James Fenimore Cooper, who wrote The Adventures of Natty Bumpo. His novels are called The Leather Stocking Tales. Next, we have The Romantic Age, 1830 to 1865. In The Romantic Age, American literature came of age. This period is also called the Age of Transcendentalism. Transcendentalism was a literary and philosophical movement that was pioneered by Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, and Walt Whitman. Other notable writers of this period are Edgar Allan Poe, Herman Melville, and Nathaniel Hawthorne. A notable poet of this period is Emily Dickinson. Next, we have the Realistic Period, 1865 to 1900. Now, the Realistic Period happened right after the American Civil War. Now, the American Civil War took place from 1861 to 1865. The Civil War was fought between Northern and Southern states of America. And the North won the Civil War and due to this reason, there was economic growth and massive consumerism in the North. Therefore, this period is also called the Gilded Age and Mark Twain coined this term the Gilded Age. So this period, the realistic period, was marked by realism and it opposed romanticism and focused on the harsh realities of life. Important writers of this period are Mark Twain, who wrote The Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Then we have Henry James, the author of Portrait of a Lady, Daisy Miller, Wings of Turf, Americans, Bostonians. And we also have Edith Wharton, who wrote The Age of Innocence and The House of Mirth. Next, we have the Naturalist Period, 1900 to 1914. Naturalism is a literary movement that emerged shortly after realism. It was influenced by Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection and survival of the fittest. Notable writers of this period are Theodore Drizzer, who wrote An American Tragedy, and Jack London, who wrote To Build a Fire. Next, we have the Modernist Period, 1914 to 1945. Ezra Pound started the Modernist Poetry Movement in America called Imagism. It was characterized by direct, objective poetry, 
with no excessive use of adjectives and metaphors. Some notable poets of this modern period in America are Ezra Pound, Wallace Stevens, Mariana Moore, Robert Frost and E. E. Cummings. Some notable novelists of this period are F. Scott Fitzgerald, Ernest Hemingway and William Faulkner. Now, the 1920s were also called the Roaring Twenties and the Jazz Age in America. This was the period right after the First World War ended, when there was a lot of economic prosperity and economic growth and consumerism in America. And F. Scott Fitzgerald depicted this Jazz Age and Roaring Twenties in his novels such as The Great Gatsby. The period after the First World War is also called the Lost Generation. The term Lost Generation was coined by Gertrude Stein. This term, the Lost Generation, was used to refer to those American writers who immigrated to Europe and worked there from the end of the First World War till the Great Depression of the 1930s when stock market crashed and there was massive unemployment. The generation was lost in the sense that their values were no longer relevant in the post-war world. The USA they knew was gone. Some of the important lost generation writers are Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, John Dos Passos, and Hart Crane. Finally, we have the contemporary period from 1945. The United States of America, which emerged from the Second World War economically strong and confident, entered the Cold War in the late 1940s. During this period, we have great literature written by African-American writers such as Toni Morrison, who wrote Beloved, The Bluest Eye, and we have Alice Walker, who wrote The Color Purple. Other notable novelists of this period are Jack Kerouac, Norman Mailer, and Philip Roth. Important poets of this period are Sylvia Plath, Anne Sexton, Adriana Rich, Elizabeth Bishop, and Allen Ginsberg. And notable playwrights of this period are Arthur Miller, Tennessee Williams, and Edward Albee. Important literary movement of this period is the Beat Generation. Jack Kerouac coined the term the Beat Generation. Writers associated with the Beat Generation are Allen Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac, and William S. Burroughs. Now, they showed their alienation from conventional society by adopting a style of dress, manners, and vocabulary from jazz musicians. The word beat means tired as well as it is used in a musical sense. They wrote formless poetry using colloquial language. So that was all for today's video where we discussed the various literary periods in American literature. We discussed the various literary movements in American literature. In short, we looked at the history of American literature and how American literature evolved with time. I hope you found the video useful. If you liked it, then do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you soon in the next video. Do visit our online academy www.learningliteraturewithpoorba.com to discover online courses and classes on English literature and creative writing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next lecture.